Guess what time is, folks? It's cruise news time! The expedition cruise ship Oceana Explorer has now run aground in eastern Greenland. So if you're not sure what a ground is, a ground is when a ship or a boat, right? The time it's either or, right? Is in the ocean and the water is so shallow that it hits the ground and now it's stuck, it can't move. So now who, whatever ship you have or boat, you're gonna have to wait for the high tide or try to get help. So on this ship, there is 206 passengers, right? So now they are saying that there is no threat to human life, so the passengers could possibly be stuck there for a couple of days. You're going to be stuck in one spot with 206 passengers, and actually my fault, there's passengers and crew, right? So 206 people on that ship stuck. I mean, you know, you're going to have to get water, feed them. I Hopefully they have enough food and water to feed all these people for the next couple of days, and also eventually... You know, people do have to use the restroom. So. But what they are saying is they can either wait for help for a couple of days or wait for the high tide to come in. And hopefully by then, they're going to be able to get themselves out. And there's a possibility that it might not happen the first day when the high tide comes in. Maybe they can move a little. And they might actually have to wait for it all day. Because, you know, it's not like a real regular ship where I, I've been in a ship. I mean, a boat where it actually happened, and obviously my brother got out, and he, <laughs> he's, he's a really strong guy, and he picked up the whole back of the boat, and actually, we actually were able to move. So on Wednesday, September 13, 2023, the Carnival Panorama cancels its port to Manazatan due to a sinking cargo, and due to this incident, there is no ships allowed to come in or out of the area until they clean up this mess. But now what are they going to do? They're supposed to go to this port, right? So now what's up? So what they decide to do is they're going to go to the next port. and But what they're going to do is they're going to stay there overnight. And the port they're going to be staying is Cabo San Lucas. I mean, it's obviously a beautiful port. This overnight is going to give people a chance to experience that port, the beautiful port of San Lucas. I mean, it's an experience that you don't get often on most cruises. You usually only get that like in Bermuda where when you do a week, you go to Bermuda, you're there for a couple of days in Bermuda, and then you leave. So this is a really good experience to actually experience this port at the nighttime. The captain and the first officer of TUI cruise ship, Man Chef 4, could face criminal charges because of what they have just done. So what do they do? They navigated the ship through a restricted area that separates the German island of Farman and the Danish island of Laland. So what they did was they sailed too close to an operational dredging ship, which is a ship that builds tunnels. And how close do they sail to? 50 meters. So that's a, that's a really close for them because what they want you is to sail about 900 meters away from them. So, I mean, there's something going on here. I mean, they have GPS, so they should have known that this ship, ship was there doing all that work, and they should be also contacting the traffic controller who's gonna let them know where the sail. The incident happened at 10 p.m. as they were sailing from Germany to Poland. And the police reports are saying that it's uh, close to a dredging vessel, Manta, which that dredging vessel is actually building a tunnel that is going to go from Germany to Denmark. If they are convicted, they can face up to two years of jail time or pay some hefty fines. I mean, more likely, I think they're probably not going to be convicted, but they are definitely going to be paying some hefty fines. I mean, there's a possibility maybe they even lose their license, you know, that's something in up in the air that could possibly happen. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the show today. Until next time, everybody, safe travels.